Once you get more familiar with Windows, it really helps to know some keyboard shortcuts so that it's easier and faster for you to work through some applications. So I'm going to go over here onto the start menu and let me just open up Notepad for now. So over here, there's some uh, ways to actually uh, do things over here. So you can go to file, you can go save everything out over here, or you can close uh, the application by pre pressing this icon right here called close right here. Let me just go over here and type in something and let's say I want to save my document. I can go to file and click on save, or I can simply press um, press the shortcut that is Control S. So that quickly brings up how I can save the text right here. So on my desktop, I'm just going to save everything out. So I'm just going to go and say something like save right here. And you can see that the document has been saved. So I use Control S as a command to save this out. Another command that you may want to use is to close an application. So I am going to press Alt F4, which is how you can close out application in an instant. So there are different shortcuts that you can remember by just going on to the file menu of each of the application right here. So whatever application you use, you can see that Control N is listed here. It stands for new, Control O for open, Control S uh, for save and Control P for print right here. Similarly, you get a lot of shortcuts right here, which you uh, which depends on different applications. Whenever you're working, let's say you type in a sentence. This, for example, like this is a sentence right here. So you type in something like a sentence right over here, and you want to copy and paste this. So what you can do is you can select out. Um, now this sentence right here, press Control C, that copies everything out on a clipboard. That is the computer remembers them for you. So you can go over here, press Enter and press Control V and you can see that this is pasted. You can also alternatively go to another application of your choice. So let's say in my case, I want to open up Microsoft Word. So I'm going to just type in Word and I'm going to click over here. So it opens up my Microsoft Word document right over here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to press Control V and it pastes out the same thing right over here. You can go back to Notepad right over here. You can even cut out a sentence. So let's say cut out a sentence right over here. I can go over here and to cut out a sen sentence instead of just copying, press Control X. And over here to paste it, simply press Control V. So just like this, you can rearrange out everything in different applications. But over here, if you want to switch between applications, just like this. So you can see that there are a lot of applications here. So in my case, there's two. Also, my recorder uh, app is open. So if you want to just change out, I can simply press Control Tab right over here. So Alt Tab right over here. And you can see that this is how it works around just like this. So you can see my two editor windows and you can uh, work around with this as well. So you can go over here and that works around, works around to open up uh, the notepad for you. You can press Alt Tab and then you can go to document and that's how you can switch between apps as well. You can also press Windows Tab. So that actually brings out everything out as you can see right here. And yeah, you can just go to the app you want. So Windows tab gives you that option right over here. So control, uh, so control S, control O, control N, and then um, the save, the cut and paste, uh, come like control C, control V, control X are some of the shortcuts that uh, we learned in this lesson today. And as the uh, lesson progresses, we might, might be using more and more shortcuts. So we'll be learning more about this in future lessons. So uh, it's really suggested that you learn shortcuts for different applications. And I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.